all right in this video i want to discuss iMovies and kindle in depth if you don't know what i'm talking about please look at my introduction video and uh, this will make more sense then here's ibooks i use ibooks on my ipad to read books and it's a cloud app which means that if i lose my ipad for some reason my data is still safe data is king so all of my data is stored on some server somewhere and I can buy a new device and download my books again. So if I've paid for my book once, even if I change my device, my purchase still holds good. iBooks reads two formats, PDF and book formats. If you're gonna buy your books anyway, you don't need to worry about the format, it'll just work. But for those of you who want to understand how this app works, PDFs are something that you can create from your computer or download from the internet and it will be visible on your iBooks app and ebooks is the format for books it's what mp3 is to music books are purchased from the iBooks store here's what it looks like you need to open iBooks either from your iPad or your computer and hit featured in the search bar you can type the book you're looking for pay for it download it and you're done to be honest with you, there are a lot of books that seem interesting, but the book that you want is always expensive. Isn't that how life is? <laughs> Once you've paid for your book, it is visible in your library. You can just hit the title and start reading. You can underline or highlight. Or even bookmark. One thing that's really amazing in iBooks is you can look up right here. If it's one word, then there is a dictionary definition. You can even have French and German dictionaries like I've done in mine. Or if it's a phrase, you can directly look up to Google right from here. You can add notes over here to come back to it later, or you can change the color of the page, the size and the font of the letters as well. What's really amazing is you can catch up from where you left off on any device. So for the most part, I read from my iPad, but if it's out of battery, I can continue from where I left off from my computer. Kindle time. Kindle does almost everything that iBooks does and a little more. It has this amazing bird's eye view, so you can jump to a specific page if you have a photographic memory and it's a nifty feature. When it comes to software, there isn't really an edge or something revolutionary that one software has over the other. They are both almost the same. They look a little different, but they're almost the same. It is this ecosystem that Apple has created, which people are willing to pay for. Their devices work very well among each other. For all of my attempts, I've noticed that iBooks is far more expensive than Kindle is. It is a free app, but when you pay for the book, each book on Kindle is far cheaper than the same book on iBooks. For example, the Mind and Cosmos book that I showed you guys is 15 euros on Kindle and 24 euros on the iBooks store. That's even more expensive than a brand new physical book, which is around 23 euros. So when Apple sells this book, of course they've digitalized it and they charge for that, but I don't see a reason why it should be so expensive relative to the same stuff available for far cheaper. That's just how Apple is. When it comes to sharing, you can share this book with someone by sending them a purchase link to buy that book, or you can just send them the EPUB file if you have it. Now, there are plenty of book formats and iBooks recognizes most of the popular ones. Just like in iBooks, Kindle as well recognizes PDF and the book formats. Most of the books recognized on iBooks are also recognized on Kindle. Or if you have a PDF of the book or anything else, you can just share that PDF via email and the recipient can open it via iBooks or Kindle. When it comes to PDFs, they don't have this amazing page turning animation like the books format. And some PDFs are just images, so you can't really highlight because the device doesn't recognize these letters. It's just an image, it's not letters. That's been it for this video, guys. I hope that helps. Try reading on a tablet. It makes more sense and it's, it is much better. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.